Well, Colin's joining me from a company called Simply Secure, which is uh, about to have um, a major conference about security. Yes. And as we're recording this, we're just having a pre-chat about even overnight, we've all been hit with a thing, log into your Apple thing Apple and yeah. change your passwords. Yeah. Or, uh, it's just everywhere. Yeah. But you're, you're gathering everyone together to discuss this in a bigger sense, more for companies, isn't it? Yeah, for small to medium businesses predominantly, but this is about data in the sense that there's many forms of data out there. Often the focus is on cyber security, which is obviously a big issue, but there's documentation, for example, that contain, can contain sensitive information. So we're bringing together a host of experts, um, both from here on the island, uh, we're bringing somebody across from the States, uh, and a guy from London to talk about data in the whole, in the round. Right. We're all too slack and lackadaisical, and companies we keep hearing are getting all sorts of, um, you know, give us yep. some money f and we'll give you your data back. Is that it's a that major sort of problem? Thing. Absolutely, yeah. And, we, and it's so easy to click on a link without thinking about it. Mm -hmm. We'll be encouraging people to take a step back and think about that. We do offer training for that sort of thing. Um, but I can give examples of where we've actually been into businesses recently where documentation has been left on a desk and the reception has been unmanned. Now that is a form of that could be sensitive data, for example. Yes. So it, it comes in many, an attack can come in many different ways. Your business, they've had it so good, I'm guessing. Well, we, we're looking to help business protect themselves and prevent the worst happening. And we want to highlight the number of issues in way that they can mm -hmm. be attacked, basically. So. And whatever we do, there's always somebody coming up with an, an, another idea. And it, it's the more legit, of course, is the worst things, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a former police officer. And I know that police are always playing catch up. And it's the same in this game as well, really, that the criminals are very innovative. They come up with all sorts of methods to trick us. It's a deception, basically. It's a trick. So you, this, this is a conference or a course what you're offering? I mean, uh, we're calling it a seminar. There's seminar. 70 people. Um, so the, um, we'll be looking at GDPR, uh, data protection. We'll be looking at cyber security, the insider threat, uh, and some solutions that providers on the island have actually come up with already. So we, we want to offer solutions to people rather than the problem. So that, that's the point of it. Really. I believe it's almost sold out anyway. So. <laughs> yeah, I think we want to get left. <laughs> so people are concerned. Oh, I think so. There's an appetite out there for knowledge. I mean, I, yeah, there's a lot of training out there, but I don't think there's necessarily the solutions out there that uh, so people have been left to find them for themselves. So we, we're very sort of keen to offer a solution to this, and uh, in many different ways. And we say small to medium-sized businesses. What we're we talking about here. Yeah. Well, you could be, in terms of the EU GDPR, for example, and data protection, a taxi company could hold personal data on the client, and if they lose that, they could stand. Uh, reg regulatory yeah. action, for example. So uh, it could be anything from a, a taxi company, a beautician, a dentist, an optician, right the way up to accountants, solicitors. You know, it's, it's a huge business. What's the top tip to tell anyone in business at the minute watching this to do with their data or not to do with their data? Uh, well, think very carefully about how you're dealing with it. And we always use the analogy about the house and the, and the burglar. If a criminal comes to your house and your windows are open and there's a house next door with a burglar alarm, where are they going to go? Don't make it easy for them. Okay, and change passwords all the time. Do things like that. Yeah, regular change. Get rid of all your anti shred stuff. Yeah, antivirus shredding exactly. Um, antivirus software, malware protection, all those sorts of things we've been told all the time, and people just put it to one side. And it's, it's it's a job for tomorrow, but it's really a job for today.